Welcome back to the channel. We've got a Chevy Silverado in for a full color change wrap today. 3M matte silver. Uh, and as usual, we can't wait to get started on it. It is white currently uh, with some red wheels. She's talking about getting powder coated a different color, which I think will look a lot better with the matte silver. Uh, we're going to be debadging the truck. Badges will not be going back on. Doing a color match on the chrome bumpers and a chrome delete on the front grille and bezels of the headlights in gloss black. Also doing a gloss black roof with other trims. So you know the drill, we're gonna go ahead and get started tearing this thing down. Uh, and as usual, we definitely appreciate everybody who likes, comments, subscribes. It definitely helps us grow the channel and we appreciate it. Definitely tell us what you think in the comments. The truck is torn down. Uh, if you guys wanna see more about the disassembly process, uh, we'd be willing to put that in the video. Let us know in the comments. We just try to keep uh, the video at a certain length. Uh, mostly with wrap related stuff. So if that is something you guys want to see, let us know. For the most part, everything's torn down except for the antenna on the roof uh, we, and the third brake light and the gas lid. Uh, we're going to do the roof last because we got a lot of parts and stuff laid out everywhere else. We don't want to mess anything up. Uh, but other than that, it's all torn down. And uh, we noticed the uh, as tearing, we were tearing this down. Most people don't take the beds off or loose or anything like that. Uh, we definitely noticed somebody had not finished painting this car correctly after it had been in an accident. So we're gonna work around that the best that we can. Uh, obviously we won't warranty anything like that on that cab corner, but for the most part, uh, we'll warranty everything else that has not been repainted. So we're gonna do one final wipe down on this truck and we're gonna go ahead and start laying some wraps. We have run into a couple issues that's why we have slacked on the filming overspray everybody's gonna run into it one way or another whether you run a shop or do it on the side if the car has been repainted and it wasn't prepped correctly you're gonna have this problem uh, so this is it here there's overspray all on the top of the uh, cover there there's overspray all on this rubber uh, and then there's overspray in here which is causing the wrap to not want to stick especially where there is any amount of stretch uh, down in there so we were able to Tuck cleanly down back and behind here and everywhere else because this entire side of the truck has been repainted uh, as well as here. The customer is well aware of it. I told him that we were going to be able to do the best we could with it uh, and he's going to be super happy. So gloss black on the grill, gloss black on the headlights still has to go. Uh, he's going to get gloss black wheels and we're doing the roof in a gloss black as well. So for reference, this is what it should look like and the bed will be pushed, uh, pushed forward so you will never be able to even see uh, half of this. But we like to overwrap, make sure. Tail lights, still gonna get tinted. Uh, it was a last minute decision, but we're gonna use the Lux lighting. And we'll also be doing a video on that sometime soon to show you guys why we love using that film so much for any of you do-it-yourselfers or DIYs or whatever you guys are calling it. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and finish this up. We've got a wrap back behind here still. Slide that bed. Uh, we're gonna be putting this thing back together and as usual, we'll be doing the video shoot uh, after the video or after this uh, as well. So stay tuned. 